talk a little bit about how you've used Nuka Charge in your standard type production. You know, so, I know we've got your plots up the road that we did different trials in. We did. And we're going to talk this about is those a, this, is, this is, um, okay, so this is a version of my send it plot here. Right. And what we're standing in on my field day, um, this is all my grower standard practice on this side of the farm. Uh, on my field day, the, you saw the airplane flying sure. across here really late. That was 2,150 GDUs is what the crop was at. This is a decab corn. Um, that's what it was at, and we flew a late season treatment on here, right? Right. So that's part of the reason that all this stay green's in here. But we ended up, so you asked about neutral charge and how I use it. So on this particular field in this plot, um, it had neutral charge release or neutral charge at 3.2 ounces in furrow. Um, we came back at V4 ish and we side dressed. Um, we stream barred uh, in between the rows, uh, 28005 with neutral charge. And then we came back two more times throughout the season and we wide dropped. And in all those wide drop passes, we had 6.4 ounces of neutral charge. Now I know that you've yelled at me and you said, hey, look, you know, season long, you didn't want me to see me go over X amount, but um, I did. I used well, to do, I mean, but, and, but here, keep in mind, you know, we're driving this phosphorus into this plant and I'm asking this plant to have all this energy. Right. I can't do it without that. Um, and, and I think one of the keys too there is, you know, we have, we have what we are, we have our goal rates that we're looking at, but, but when you're driving yields like this corn is, and, and we're wanting to get that nutrition into the plant, we, it, it's gonna need a little more help. You know, at the end of the day, what is our goal? Treat fertilizer. We're not treating an acre, yeah. we're treating the fertilizer.